tonight on The End Factor. Today we're going to be talking about online griping as well as grammar later on in the show. Hello guys, this is Nick Gillian, and I'm your host of The End Factor. Today we're going to be talking about online griping as well as grammar later on in the show. So to begin with online griping. Lately, I've been checking the comments to one of my most favorite games on this one website called Roblox. And, and so far, a lot of people on that website have been griping about this one game that's recently gotten about 10,000 views <laughs> named NFC North Battle. Um, this year's installment is the 2012 edition, which is called NFC North Battle 12. And so far, a lot of people think that his content is free modeled. Yes, I've said that. People think it's free modeled. So, how did this wind up as our own topic? Well, um, for starters, NFC North Battle has been around since, for 12 years since the year 2000 and has been creating basically 2D platforms until 2005 when they went 3D on Roblox. And then by 2010, EA Title Town is which is this um which is basically the company that publishes a lot of the a lot of our uh a lot of our video games for our uh other show on this station called Mobile Suit Gundam on Roblox and Zeta Gundam on Roblox. They've been produ helping out producing games for uh, for our um, for these respective series. And we also are in the works with their game. <clears throat> Sorry. Their game, The Sims County. <coughs> so what do fans have to gripe about? Fans so far are griping about how they believe that the that some of the content, such as Lambo Field, is free modeled. Now, the thing is, is that every single model in NFC North Battle that not only does it include stadiums, but it also includes uniforms and, um, well, with the exceptions of logos and uniform designs, were created by Minnesota Vikings sixty one. And he also owns about three alternative accounts for uh, to create the NFC North Battle series. This is basically just a place for him to keep hold as well as share some of his content. And I mean, don't think that he doesn't share. He 100% does. So on his, own, his alternative accounts names are NNB Packers, NNB Lions, and NNB Vikings. So, so far, people are saying that he is free modeling off of their own content. First off, I 100% know this is false accusation because this year we have been working with him on some of it on, on the NFC North Battle content with as a uh, part of having our games um our our channel's games published for uh, the Gundam on Roblox franchise and eventually the NickTube Shorts franchise. And and it's just I don't even understand how people could think that they are free modeled. I mean, if you have been playing this game for Two years, and especially as somebody like myself, I've been going out and helping out this series by going out to the to Lambeau Field here in Green Bay, which is on the other side of our, um, town where our studios is. Um, they believe that a lot of the content is free modeled, and I know it's not. I mean, of course, yet again, I go there. I take pictures of the stadium. I do studying. And I also help update the, uh, the the models. I even help out with uh, with the uniforms and and finding how a ways to update and improve on them just to entertain other people. 
and if uh, if some of these users actually had a better understanding of how our uh, how the series pretty much functions, another thing they also gripe about is the gameplay. One thing about the gameplay that's been around f forever, actually, is that it's combat football. What does that mean? Um, so the key of the game is to make as many K KOs, knockouts, as possible in order to be to defeat your opponent. And for NFC North battle, there are four teams within the NFC North, and that's the Chicago Bears, D Detroit Lions, the Green Bay Packers, and the Minnesota Vikings. Only two out of those four teams are going to be going to the playoffs. And in order to do so, is that they have to set up the uh, a roster of three people in order to uh, in order to get their in order to get away with the full season. So they perform six games, and out of the six games, a majority of them have to be wins in order to go to the playoffs. And the playoffs is really just uh, two games. One of one is for um the division championships that they call the NFC Championship game. Only because the... Only because there really isn't much... Uh, it's not that big of a league. And really, he has no... Uh, Minnesota Vikings 61 has no intentions to expand to include all 32 teams. And... Um, so, the two teams that make it to the playoffs, the one with the home field advantage and the one with the wild card... Have to I have to make as much points as possible like they did in the regular season. They have to make as much knockouts as possible in order to win the game and proceed. So when they win the NFC Championship game, they go to the Super Bowl. And th um, this season, it's going to be Super Bowl three that they call it. Um, let me see here. So, so once they proceed to the Super Bowl, they play against the AFC North champions. Which, uh, for last year, the game was between the Detroit Lions and the Baltimore Ravens. And then the year before, the first Super Bowl was between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Minnesota Vikings. And one thing you got to remember, too. It's not like the... Um, sorry. Uh, it's not like the... Like they were, the, like the teams were chosen on purpose. That's another thing that some people write about is that teams are chosen to go to the playoffs. They earn it, actually. It's based on the ability of who gets the most KOs in one game. Normally, well, sometimes they, uh, the games are pretty much in favor of how many fans play on a certain team. Like this year, the Chicago Bears are leading the NFC North. After who knows how the hell long they've been, they haven't gone to the playoffs, and then there is in the home field in the wild card the Green Bay Packers. Very rarely, uh, very rarely, um, the most popular teams would wouldn't go to the um the playoffs. So that's basically how the Detroit Lions and the Minnesota Vikings went to the Super Bowls and won them. All right, um. So once they win the Super Bowl, they it's um so pretty much every game is okay. To recap, every game is basically just to get the most KO, KOs as possible. And um, in the Super Bowl, once they win it, they get a huge celebration. They get the Vince Lombardi Trophy, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And then they bring it back, and then it's being displayed in their uh, section at their museum, which is the Far for Life Museum in. Uh, in the NFC uh, North Battle franchise. So, that's basically how it is. Um, a lot of people think that football would basically be... Uh, uh, football on Roblox would basically be just throwing a football and expecting somebody to catch it and run it into the uh, end zone. That's not how all kinds of footballs work. football games work. In fact... That's how NFC North Battle doesn't work. And I mean, I, I should know a lot about this because not only have I worked, um, have been working with their uh, franchise, but before, but prior to that, um, I was uh, a player for, their, um, for, the, um, for the Minnesota Vikings uh, 
within 2009 to 2011. I was drafted in 2008 to the Green Bay Packers and played there until 2009. So, yeah, I helped the, the Vikings go to the Super Bowl and win it against the Pittsburgh Steelers. And then I also led um, the Vikings to the playoffs, but only in wild card and lost um, because... Well, I didn't, I didn't appear at the playoffs. I uh, lost the game because of, in well, because of a uh, because of an injury that I actually had in real in real life. It was a hand. Injury. So yeah. Um. Anyways, I even created the poon dive. Uh, my jersey number was number ten, and I'm going to be inducted into the uh their uh. I've already been inducted into their Hall of Fame as well. Next year, I'm going to be inducted into the uh, Pro Football Battle Hall of Fame. So basically, it's not a team deathmatch game. It's uh, it's combat football. That's basically what they call it. So, um, that's basically all I have to say about griping. See you guys, see you guys after the break. Millions of players are building on Roblox. Tom built the Eiffel Tower. Alex built an experimental jet. Kim built a first-person shooter. They also built a medieval fortress, yacht racing game, urban deathmatch, cursed graveyard, tall ship, tower defense, starfighter, coaster, railgun, dump truck, RTS, wingsuit, RPG, tank, killer robot. Roblox. What will you build? Roblox.com right now <sighs> the new type feeling is it Amro or Lala Lieutenant Nessa that building would have never collapsed with your reckless flying Basketball season has returned. has returned. It's been a long time. It's been a long time coming. You can hate me now. Kill B. But I won't stop now. Real. Because I can't stop now. Brave heart. You can hate me now. Come on. But I won't stop now. Money I see, clothes that I buy, ice that I wear, flows that I try, close your eyes, picture me rolling, sixes, money falling, honeys that swollen, the riches, knives get in ya, most critically acclaimed Pulitzer. Alright guys, welcome back to the End Factor, my name is Nick DeLeon and I'm your host, and now t since we concluded our, t our discussion, sorry, with our discussion about online griping, we are ready to go to grammar. And how is it important? So, grammar is basically not what teachers are forcing upon you just to bore the living crap out of you. <laughs> grammar is basically to get you around in life. And what I mean by getting around, uh, not only does it uh, 
Not only does it make you look like a nerd, but it's basically what's going to get you a job. And do speeches and become the president of the United States. Even ask Barack Obama. <laughs> so anyway, um, what problems are there in teenage society for, uh, for grammar? Um, for starters, some people actually do ma make huge screw-ups like saying it's the difference between knowing your and knowing your shit. <laughs> knowing, okay, so there are two different, well, there are plenty of different kinds of yours. One is a four-letter word called your, which is Y-O-U-R, your. And another is Y-O-U punctuation mark R-E. So what's the difference between the two? The four letter R is basically, uh, it's basically um, describing like something on you, like say your fly is down or your backpack is on fire or who knows, your is on fire. <laughs> and then there's also the, the five letter or six letter you could call it your your is basically just a shorter way of saying you are and basically what the you are is basically to say is basically to say something like you are looking good today Susie or you are my Gundam Amuro <laughs> or even who knows uh, it's basically what it is. It's basically saying you are. So, what's the difference between knowing your and knowing your <laughs> Okay, so knowing your that's the four letter your. Your is basically knowing your. So, it's basically knowing shit, like knowing what is yours. And then there's also the five to six letter word your. Knowing your that's basically, if you say that knowing your then that's basically insulting. And you could face, and you could do whatever you want down in the comments. I don't care if you're going to be griping about me that I just called you guys shit on act. Um, it's all right. I didn't mean it. Well, I'm saying that grammar is basically a huge part of society. So what is part, so what's another part two about grammar? Um, it's basically... Another, here's another one that involves, uh, the you. Knowing the difference between is and are. So there's post, so there's something like this. You is kind. You is smart. You is important. And sadly, this is a poster from a school. <laughs> if this is a, a student putting this up just to motivate other people, they're not, they're going to know that eventually another student is going to respond by saying, you is bad at grammar. Don't be upset about it, because hell yeah, you're bad at grammar. So what's the problem? How could we fix this? We could be fixing this by saying something like, you are kind, you are smart, you are important. That way then this person can take his you is bad at grammar sign <laughs> off of your sign, just to know that you can actually motivate people by using good grammar. So, in conclusion, when you're writing your resume, are you going to be writing, who knows, gang signs or, <laughs> bad, or bad grammar? I wouldn't. I know that. And I know, if anything, it would actually affect you after college and when you're getting a job and running for president. So, in order to do that, you don't want to sound stupid. <laughs> so that's basically my response to you. <laughs> All right, so okay, enough with the ass noises. Um, so yeah, there is many different definitions of ass instead of your buttocks. Buttocks. Oh, son of. A... Yeah, your buttocks. The ass can also mean a donkey. 
So there's also different definitions for words like gay. It doesn't mean a homosexual. It could also mean happy if you're considering uh, some of the uh, the words that you heard in your Christmas songs last month. <laughs> and then there's also ass, which is in the Bible. So it could be so in the Genesis, you could be seeing something like he was riding on his ass. It doesn't mean that he was having sex with himself. It means that he was riding on his donkey. So yeah, understand the facts, read a dictionary, stop griping if you don't know what it is, and simply don't be an asshole. Know your shit. I mean, I'm Nick DeLeon, and this is The End Factor. See you guys later.